Okay, right here is a 1972 Bucyrus Siri 40R blast drill. The 40R was first introduced by Bucyrus Siri in 1954, following the success of the larger 50R blast drill. Now let's go and get a closer look at this drill, and I'll tell you some history and information about it. The 40R featured three stabilizer jacks, two in the front and one in the rear, and this is what will stabilize and level the machine off before it begins drilling. You can see the wide individually linked crawler pads to provide plenty of weight distribution for the drill if it's working on a softer ground surface. You can also see this drill is chain driven. You can see where the chain runs around the front sprocket. And that chain connects to the drive sprocket, which is right there. And when the machine is engaged into the tram mode, this is what will turn the tracks, which in turn will travel the machine. Now, let's go up on the 40R. On the front of the drill, you can see the two big propane tanks for the cab heater. The 40R was designed for drilling holes ranging anywhere from 6 and 3 quarter to 9 inches in diameter. And here you can see one of the big steels. And just like its larger brother, the 50R, the 40R featured a rack and pinion hoist and pull down system, which applied an increase in thrust load to the bit. This design feature was adopted from the company's cable shovels. Here you can see the cable reel for the maintenance hook, and from here you can get a good view looking up at the mast. Now we'll go inside the operator's cab in a minute, but first, let's go in the back and check out the powering system on this machine. Okay, if you look on the back of the drill, you can see the third stabilizer jack. And from under here, you can get a pretty good view of the lower works on this drill. And if you look right here on the side of the drill's house, here you can see the original porcelain sign that says Bucyrus Erie, and below you can see where it says 40R. And probably the one feature that I like about this drill the most is the fact that after all these years, this drill is still in its original Bucyrus Erie colors, which is pretty cool. Now let's go up inside the house. The 40R was offered with either diesel or electric power, depending on what the customer preferred. As you can see, this particular 40R is diesel powered. The engine that you see in the back here is a Cummins NT855 that produces 300 horsepower for the drill. An optional Caterpillar power was also offered for this machine. Here you can see all the gauges, the hour gauge, this has 14,895 hours on the engine, oil pressure, fuel pressure, amps, and all the buttons and controls to work the engine. Here you can see the pipe that pulls the fresh cleaned air from the air cleaner which is mounted outside on the side of the house. This other air cleaner that you see mounted inside the house is for the air compressor which is mounted directly below it. And right here is the oil cooler. 
Okay, now let's go inside the cab. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station inside the 4DR. And right here, you can see all the gauges and controls to work all the functions on the drill and to monitor the drill when it's running. If you look down here, here you can see the metal plate. You can see where it says Bucyrus Siri, the model 40R, the machine's number, and on this plate below are all the patent numbers for the machine. And the overall working weight of a 40R blast drill is 50 tons. These drills were manufactured up until 1984 when production ended, and in total, about 280 units were produced. But there she is, a classic 1972 Bucyrus Erie 40R.